is our first through fifth place positions. We have TSL on top, Factory Reset in second, third place is Friendly, fourth is Wolfblood moving on up. What happened when I was gone? And fifth <laughs> is the Force dropping down one position. Did Wolfblood kick you out? What? <laughs> Bro, you do not mean that, dude. You don't mean that, dude. <laughs> Pretty cool to see some movement on the Celestial Leaderboard about time. <laughs> yeah, so Wolfblood definitely is showing strength here. Uh, there is a... Ren uh, Renewed would discredit what they've been doing since the season, but Bloodlust coming in. Mm -hmm. You know, we have strong players like Silver Wolf returning to the pack. Uh, Symmetric has actually turned out to be a huge asset to Wolfblood as well. They were in Bloodlust as you know uh, before jumping yep, over. Yep. Uh, so we have a lot of new PVPers in the guild uh, and PVEers mm -hmm. doing the BA like you know me. <laughs> I'm always on that leaderboard. You know what I mean? I get I get a mil a week for my participation. I'm killing you know like 1500 NPCs a week. It's kind of hard to match my uh, my. Oh <laughs> as long as I'm better God. than Zildin, okay? Zildin's a co lead and wolf, and if if I'm better than Zildin, my life is complete. Uh, but yeah, so wolf blood is just. They've transformed, and uh, if it's anything like, you know, the era where Silver Wolf was, you know, leading the charge, I think Wolfblood will be a, a an easy contender for the top third position. But otherwise, it looks like everything's pretty same same here uh, with positioning, and of course, Forest um, was in a strong position. They got knocked down, and then uh, whoever was under Force, which was Wolfblood, uh, they swapped places. So mm. yeah, pretty standard. Yeah. But looking good. It's looking good for how, you know, we're not even halfway through the season yet and we already have shakeups. Yeah, yeah. I can appreciate a little bit of movement every once in a while. Yeah. Oh. And Wolfblood overtook the forest. Yeah. Uh with six point four mil earned. And the forest is earning almost six mil. So it's still a tight race. All right. I'm yes. good though. I'm ready for legendary. All right, let's do it. Legendary tier, our second tier here. That's our sixth through tenth place positions. DPS, that pivotal PVE guild up top in sixth place. Mm -hmm. Place Prostor, huge gap by the way between sixth and seventh, about ten mil worth. Uh, Prostor in seventh, Shadow Garden moving up one position. Love to see that. Knights who say ye moving down one position, no surprise. And Italia actually busting into the legendary tier. Good on them. They are another PVE guild. I mean Shadow Garden as well. This is the the tier of sh uh, PVE guilds. So nice to see that. Um, I love that personally. Yeah. Yeah. So legendary is looking a little weird already. Um, I think out of this whole, this, this tier, I'm rooting for Prostor the most. Uh, DPS has already established themselves as the best PVE guild. They were Celestial all last season. Yeah. Um, you know, so I feel like, you know, DPS had their time in the, in the limelight. But Prosser has always been cooking, okay? They dipped hard, but now they're number seven. And they were a huge contender or a rivalry against Wolfblood before Wolfblood freaking exploded. So I'm hoping the best for Prosser here. Shadow Garden is another um, guild I'm keeping my eye on because Shadow is so really dramatic. And it seems like they have exams every day, but they're number eight now where they were number 10. Uh, Cutie... 13 months membership at the homie level, which is the highest tier we have. Blue cat bitches. Thank you so much, cutie. That's what he meant. His badge upgraded to a blue cat, and we all thought he meant something really bad and sussy. Okay. <laughs> thought we were just, he was being pervy. I guess we were the pervy ones. <laughs> <laughs> was it, what's it say about us, man? Long? What's it oh, say about no. us? Anyway. Anyway, so Shadow Guardian Prosper, yeah. keep at it. Uh, nice to say ye. I'm still shocked, crazy fact, that they're even here on the SGL. Uh, but they're here. Yeah, and I would love to see it. I would love to see where ye bust into Celestial tier. That would be awesome. Yeah, that, I don't think that's on my bingo card. No, uh, they do these too it, many waves of going up high and then going way down yeah. low. So. Yeah, most of these old heads don't stay consistent. Um, and then Natalia moving up to number 10. Good for them. I didn't, I honestly did not think this guild would get to legendary tier and here they are. So yeah, crushing it. Yeah. Sick. All right. Next tier is epic tier 11 through 15th place positions. Heaven and hell got knocked out by Italia moving down Rip. one to 11th place. 
Then we have Still Friendly 2, which is a shocker considering they were pretty up high last season. Murderers of the Universe sitting pretty at 13. Demolition's Great Kingdom moving up one position into 14th place. And Resolve actually moving up one position into 15th place, busting into the epic tier, which is awesome to see. Um, and it's all very close in the epic tier. There's going to definitely be more movement. Uh, 100% fully believe in that. Quote me on it. You know it. Um, I, I, I'm i very interested in this epic tier now. My God. One of our neighbors has a, a hound puppy, mm. which is like one of the worst pets you could have in like a yeah. neighborhood. And it's yeah. just wailing right now. And Heck it's so yeah. annoying. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, Heaven and Hell uh, washed instantly just instantly washed and uh it's unfortunate but uh yeah i can't believe they got knocked out by italia which is a fake italian guild as kasu said only the leader's italian uh and i've caught flack from them in comment section saying why do you make fun of us for that hey it is what it is okay but heaven and hell game dropped that sucks still friendly too don't know which one this is uh murder the universe another steady hand it's like every every season is just like you'll you'll eventually see them become like top of epic tier and dgk so this is great progress for this is one of the newest guilds on the leaderboard now that sorrow keep is you know sorely you know sadly deleted yeah uh, but demos in chat saying i'm burnt out so who knows how long djk will last i feel like this is a a normal thing with uh demo and like Lucas, who was the leader of newbies, uh, they do a bunch of shit to burn themselves out. And I don't, they never find a home for long. So maybe DJK will be it, but I doubt it. Uh, Demo's tired. Demo needs some sleepies. And then Resolve, continuing to get stronger. They were, they're just continuing to get stronger. So good for them. Yeah. I never would have expected it when they first showed up in the SGL. Uh, yeah, but they are here to stay clearly. So good on. I them. thought they'd be. I thought they'd be gone by now, or at least back in tier two. But they're, yeah, they're bussing. You know, they're bussing. The All right, let's move on to the elite tier. That's sixteen through twenty Oof. place positions. Lots oh, of no. reds and lots of lots green. of red, dude. Uh, Asgard moving down two positions. What's happened to Asgard? They I know, have fallen. Jason. He's um, playing too much Overlord, dude. Yeah, Overlord's taking them. The Unknown, which is a brand new guild, moving up two positions. Sanctuary, another brand new guild, moving up 21 positions. Talk about a grind there. Uh, Helheim, moving down two positions. They wanted to be top 15, uh, and they're they're currently going the wrong direction. And then Zelth, Zenith Kitty is moving down two positions at 20th place spot, unfortunately. Uh, my favorite PVE named guild, um, but it's they're very... saying. I huh? saw. Sorry, I saw uh, Rogov saying uh, you're getting really good at saying ZZK. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, I love saying it. It's a fun name to say. <laughs> but uh, it's impressive that these two new guilds, the Unknown and Sanctuary, are showing up strong already. Yeah, yeah, it's one I've never expected Asgard to fall so low. Yeah, um, which is kind of scary. They're not earning a lot right now. They're earning 1.1 mil. So that's very uh, not on par for them. Yeah. Unknown moving two positions forward. Again, one of the newer guilds this season. Good to see. They're remaining strong. But Sanctuary, 21 positions forward because we are tracking tier two. So it's huge. But they are still only earning six mil. Again, that's what Force earned this week, these last seven days. Yeah. So I wonder what the the trajectory will be for sanctuary again they have a lot of old heads in that guild that mm -hmm. are from guilds that used to crush you know are, are usually crushing their competition yeah um and we're coming into <clears throat> holy shit and we're coming into a whole new event so they're going to probably just keep climbing is my bet uh helheim sucks to get dropped i guess but they're still better than black dragon which is their you know, number one rivalry and ZZK. I just don't ever know where to place these dudes. Like, I really don't. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what, like, they just exist. It's just insane that they deleted, came back, came back stronger than when they deleted. Yeah. And now they're still here on the SGL. Like, I just, their their story is just so wild to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they're they consistent right now. Um, yeah. yeah. The chat had a good point. Asgard, a lot of the heavy hitters moved over to Sanctuary. That's probably why we're going to see them continue to drop unless Jason recruits some new heavy hitters. Right. Um, or Jason 
rest in peace Asgard come to wolf blood you know you want to do it <laughs> yeah uh um <laughs> It is. I I I really like the unknown showing up because like the sanctuary. Obviously, like if they want to get the celestial, I think at some point they're going to have to start crushing their exp and go into like twelve to thirteen mil per week, just to catch up because time is not on their side now. Um, even though it's it's fairly new into the season, the the yeah. you know few weeks could be a big difference. So, especially if the top tier teams are are consistently already hitting the like six mil, you have to do better than that um to climb but yeah should be interesting to watch them climb all the way up i think they'll They're, get close or potentially there they want to be a hardcore pvp guild that chills but my question is most of those players in that guild do not chill like when they want to be competitive i mean we've had alucard on here accept his award and be like get good you know so yeah. it's like it's like do you guys really want to chill or you want to say you're chilling but you you're cooking like i don't i don't believe it for a second there's no <laughs> way you guys came out of like your fifth you know retirement in a day to to just chill i don't believe it so i think sanctuary is going to freaking be a nuke they gotta show right. these whimper snappers what's up yeah goodbye megaton okay fallout 3 dead all right all on. right rare tier let's do this thing oh do lds brother <laughs> 21 through 25 place positions uh we have Last Damn Sushi, which was named La La No Living Death Stepping Steppers or Stepping Stepping. Yeah, yeah. their their names always confusing to me. Uh, they changed it for the event, apparently. Yes, they did. Uh, moved up one position in twenty first place. Twenty second, we have Black Dragon, who also moved up one position, mm -hmm. leaving Frontier to drop down two into twenty third place. Golden Arrows dropped down four into twenty fourth place, and Brazil Grind holding on. But in that uh, 25th place, moving down to it. So um, a lot of going down for these guilds, unfortunately. Yeah. Looking red and rare tier. Also, Sola, a member for eight months at the Couch Cat level. Almost time for tier two, baby. Sola's about to evolve his little badge, too. Thank you so much, Sola, for supporting us, man. Yeah. All right. So LDS is instantly my favorite guild in this tier. Most of them showed up to my stepping stream yesterday. Yeah. And they're just hilarious people. Uh, if you go into their guild member list, there's some that are changing their name to sushi, uh, like types of sushi. That's not awesome. all of them. Okay, I was led to believe most of the guild did this. There's only like four of them, but it's still funny. Yeah. They're leaning into it. Uh, so LDS, shout out to you, Black Dragon. I still have hopes for you, but you cannot let Helheim smack you around like this after that betrayal. Frontier, a newer guild. Uh, the decay. Listen. The, this decay, I wouldn't even say it's serious. Um, mm -hmm. It's just that we had guilds like Sanctuary um, explode into the scene. That always causes a huge shockwave. Um, so I'm not counting out Frontier yet. All right. They're still earning at least one mil EXP in the last seven days, which is right. great in rare tier now. Right. Uh, Golden Arrows, uh, still wondering how they got out of tier two, uh, <laughs> but they're here. And Brazil Grind was a, a new season favorite, at least with Dark, our friend in Heaven and Hell. Yep. And yep. Uh, they're not looking too hot right now. Yep. It is what but it is. It is what it is, brother. But now it's time to look beyond the top 25 into oh the boy. tier 2 system. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, it showed up. Okay. <laughs> Lots <All right>. of red. <laughs> so we'll just quickly go through this. Number 26, we have Slum. So slums here. We have Wolf at 27. We have Alpha Omega getting knocked out of the SGL at 28. We have Eternal Flame at 29. Eternal Flame is uh <laughs> is Welski's guild, and he's here literally just for his ego trip. And there's no uh plus or minus for him. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but it is it is a new guild, all right? It's a new guild. Uh Crazy Five's video shows it's one of the strongest new guilds with the membership. And they're already at number 29, so I can only assume they're going to get into the SGL at some point. So good job on you, Welski. We have Dante's Inferno at 30, moving down because of the push. We have Step and Chill at 31, six positions forward. Why is this guild earning the XP cord? Retire SNC already, dude. Just retire the guild. What are you doing? Cord does not have time for this shit. And then... Teletubbies at 32, one of the best guild names in the game. I cannot believe this shit. And then they have like a freaking harpoon or whatever, Dude, or spear great. as their icon. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, and then Demon Lord's Army. 
pretty much everyone got bodied after the the push okay uh afterglow is about to get freaking knocked out of the sgl completely they were a tier two guild into the um the top 25 and they even i think they even graced the top 20 and now they're about to get kicked out of tier two unreal and then blazing beast crazy fi why is this guild always here what is why they are, can they 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 are nothing but consistent okay they, they are, are always the last guild <laughs> That's not true. Normally they're 34th, okay? Normally they're 34th. <laughs> this yeah. time they just got knocked down to 35. Yeah, now they're now they're really threatened. Uh, <laughs> but they're earning more than Afterglow, so who knows? Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's tier two. Uh, these are who's been pushed down and climbing up. Uh, and I'm I'm sure it's going to get even more hectic with the the event. Whoever, whichever guild can influence. You know the you know use the event to influence their members to step on their behalf or participate in the game more on their behalf. They're right. going to come out ahead. Absolutely. But that that's the yellow craze fight. If you want to lead us out of it. Yeah, that is it. That was tier two. That was the top twenty five. That will complete the SGL report for this Thursday. We appreciate everyone showing up and leaving their comments and you know talking about all the different guilds and movements. And we appreciate to the VOD squad who will be watching this later on and, and during the week. Uh, so thank you.